Hola, estudiantes de física. Okay, we're back with the first rule we need to know about charged particles moving in an external magnetic field. Write this down. We're going to use the red vector to uh, represent the velocity of the charged particle that we're going to toss in. The magnetic field B happens to be in the direction of the black vector. Why? I don't know. That's just the external magnetic field that that charged particle happens to be moving in it. And we want to determine the direction and the size of the force that's exerted on that charged particle Q. If you look on the right side of the uh, blackboard, you'll see that the force magnitude is equal to Q times V times B, just however big Q is, however big V is, times however big B is, times the sine of the angle that's between the vectors V and B. So if V and B happen to be parallel to each other, the size of the force exerted on that charged particle is zero. Sine of 90, or sine of zero, is zero. And that force is a maximum when V and B are 90 degrees then F is just equal to Q times V times B because sine of 90 is 1. So let's go back to our left-hand side over there with the red vector representing the velocity, the black vector representing the magnetic field. The force, what direction is that in? Well, I'm just going to use the cross product. I'm going to point my fingers in the direction of red and curl them in the direction of magnetic field, black, and you see that the force is the white vector. And this works no matter what I do to my coordinate system. So if V happens to be pointing that way, and B is that way, then the force is exerted up. So if I throw a particle in that direction, it will experience a force upwards as it's moving in that direction. What do I do if the charge is a negative sign? So I don't throw a proton in, I throw an electron in. Well, all I do is figure out the answer, then I add my minus sign. So in this case where I have V cross B, it's an electron going that way, I get an answer that way. Oops, it's a minus sign, I have to reverse my answer. So an electron tossed straight up in a magnetic field that points in that direction will experience a force not in that direction, but in that direction. That's the first rule you need to know.